The first art you'll learn in ninjutsu is the art of accessorizing. Here's your look at the NECA Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Accessory Set. This sweet accessory set is sized to match NECA's action figure line from the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. It includes all sorts of goodies from your favorite episodes like the Baby Turtles, their friend Big Mac the Robot, and much, much more. It even includes the Turtles TV, VCR, and game console. Deep cuts and Easter eggs galore. Pardon me as I just try to play a little catch-up with Turtle Toys. Before we get a closer look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Cartoon Series accessory set, so let's grab the tape measure and just figure out how tall some of these guys are. Now, with this set, you're getting not only Big Mac, which is really, really one of the reasons why I wanted to get this accessory set in the first place, but you're also getting tiny baby turtles and a whole lot more as well. I'm going to grab the tape measure and then, of course, I'll bring a couple of figures for comparison's sake in a second. For the baby turtles... My one real complaint about this set is that turtles, the baby turtles, don't really have the means to stand on their own. But standing on their own, you'd be looking at figures being about two inches in height, so they're really quite small. Or they're only about five centimeters in height. Though on to Big Mac, though, who is the biggest of the batch, if to measure right to the very top of his head, you're looking at the figure being about three and three quarters of an inch in height, or about nine, about nine and a half centimeters tall. With the baby turtles being a more darker green, it's really better suited to be displayed with the original Ninja Turtles that were the more dark olive green color. For the comparison's sake, I'm just bringing in Raphael and Donatello. Sure, yeah, you could just use the brighter green, but I mean, really, like to bring in Michelangelo here, it certainly does stand out a lot more. If you're really, again, wanting to match the colors, it's better really to go with, like, these turtles instead. Uh, another comparison as well we can also make is just to bring in the April O'Neil. Now, this is April O'Neil version 1. I've yet to pick up version 2 April O'Neil, but I did want to just bring in a human-sized character so you guys can see how Big Mac compares against, let's say, April O'Neil, who only goes about her shoulder or so. As Turtle fans, we certainly do get spoiled with the amount of things that NECA packs in this box. Not only are you getting standalone figures of the baby turtles, but you're also getting as well Big Mac. But then along with that, you're getting all these extra things that you can display with your existing turtles. I'm going to do my best to get through everything individually, and then we'll have a little bit of discussion about all those accessories. Starting, though, first, the figures come included with, and again, I'm saying figures because, again, we're getting the baby turtles here, but we get actually the Star of Hoboken. The Star of Hoboken, I believe, debuts in the Napoleon Bonafrog Colossus of the Swamps, which basically is, it's a diamond. The diamond itself has been nicely sculpted here. You can see, like, Shredder, I think, offers it at one point to Big Louie in exchange for the antifreeze. You can see, though, the crystal has been handled more in a translucent blue plastic. It is, again, a really interesting. Not really sure whereabouts I'm, I would put it on my display, because as I'm kind of looking through these things myself, I'm sort of thinking to myself, okay, in my own collection space where I have my turtle shelf, where exactly am I going to be putting, for example, the Star of Hoboken? I'm sure I'm going to find a space. If only, if only there could have been like some like display stand or something that could have actually held the diamond in place. As of right now, this sort of really isn't going to be a place that I'm going to have. I'm going to find a place. Leave it with me. I'm going to find a place. The figures as well come included with the turtle tracker. This is actually one of those accessories I was really looking forward to seeing. Now, granted, something that you can have any one of the baby turtles. I guess you could have a baby turtle carrying it, but the hands are so small, it's, it'd be impossible. But ideal, certainly, if you wanted to give it, for, for, for example, to Shredder. I mean, really, it's nicely detailed. You can see the individual cording, how it's been plugged to the side, all the buttons and individual a little button and little pressing things that they can have activated here. There's also, as well, the screen you can see there as well. There's nothing actually lit up on the screen. No showing images or tracking or anything along those lines. But again, the fact that we did get ourselves the turtle tracker, it's one of those things, sort of my top five favorite things about this set is the fact we get the turtle tracker. Move that also to the side. Whereabouts are we also going to go with this? We also get ourselves the cheese painting. Now, I should have really had Rat King brought in for this comparison. And certainly, rest assured, I will be displaying this with Rat King when I have a moment. But we get ourselves, of course, the cheese painting here. It's framed and done well in a nice kind of darker yellow. 
And again, like it looks to be just like a printed on sticker. There's what it looks like certainly on the back as well. There is really a section there on the top that if you have the means to like put a little screw area there, not that you really want to be damaging your walls, for example, but if you could put a little tiny screw, I'm sure you could probably hang the painting au fromage on, on maybe the back wall behind your figures. You also as well get yourself a, a pizza box. I'm going to flip the box around so you guys can see. It says Pizza Groove. Now, one thing that's nice about the pizza box is that if you were to open it up, first of all, this is plastic. I'm glad that they always go with the route of plastic instead of giving us a true paper box. But inside, you'll actually get yourself a full pizza. Not yet sliced, although it seems to be lines sort of outlining and indicating that the pizza has been sliced. It looks to be having probably pepperoni, two different types of pepperoni. I don't know if those would be anchovies or peppers. I don't know if would a turtle really like peppers on his pizza. I don't know. But anyways, there's what it looks like. It looks like it's got a good crust on the bottom of it. That's been a stone oven cooked pizza. And that can sit actually inside the box. The neat thing also about it too is that we'll get back to Big Big Mac. Big Mac also has the means to... Actually, you know what? Let's just move Raphael out of the way. While I am on the topic of this, I don't want to actually miss my stepping and forget what I was about to say. But you can take though Big Mac, just bring his arms together. And you can take the pizza box and slide it in between. It's kind of hard to do. You want to really make sure that Big Mac's hands are close enough together. But you can take the pizza box and slide it in between. I had this at the beginning of the review as well. You can have Big Mac actually holding the pizza box, delivering it over to the turtles. That is a nice touch. I think that's the only real reason as to why Big Mac has his thumbs up. It's simply just, again, so he can actually hold the pizza box. Maybe what I'll do is I'll leave this open to let the, the smell of the pizza waft through the air. You also as well do get yourself the head of Baxter Stockman. Unfortunately, I don't have a body of Baxter Stockman, only as a fly, but I don't know if I would necessarily use this head sculpt to go with the fly. It does use just, a, I would imagine, a standard size ball joint socket. If I had myself, though, a Baxter Stockman, the one with the shredder helmet here would go nicely on top. I do like the mad look that he has on his face. One thing I do also have, while well, I don't have a Baxter Stockman, uh, he, I do have the figure that goes along with this accessory. This is the helmet for Rocksteady. Now, Rocksteady, I'm going to go reach off to the side and just go and grab the figure. I actually have a couple of things I did want to bring in for comparisons. Here's Rocksteady right now. And now in the first episode, I believe, no, not maybe the first episode, when, of course, they run into Rocksteady and Bebop, and I think even a couple of episodes after that, Rocksteady is worn or seen worn wearing this helmet. The helmet itself has a little opening on the sides and it has the straps running down the front. You can, though... I mean, it would make, can you imagine though, how the disappointment level, if you wanted to get this set for yourself, you got yourself out rock steady like I'm doing right now, and the helmet didn't actually fit. Well, you'll be happy to know that the helmet does fit, and it fits quite well too. If you did want yourself, say, rock steady with the helmet, this one accessory set will include that as well. So I like, like the fact that they included that. Let's move that to the side. The figures also come included with the backpack. The backpack has been cast here, sort of more in a light yellowish beige. You can take yourself, for example, an, exi an existing turtle. I think even on the feature on the back of the package, they used Michelangelo. It doesn't have to necessarily be Michelangelo, but if you wanted to, just take the straps. Now, the thing about the straps is you're going to have to make sure that the, ar the arms are bent around. And this basically would then just fit over top an existing turtle body. Just fit the sides carefully, carefully, carefully. There we go. And you can put yourself the backpack on the turtle. So that's nice and a little uncomforting. I don't know if this is kind of... Oh, I actually have it the, the wrong way around. But I like the idea that they included the backpack. Sure, not really sure if I would ever really display my turtles with a backpack, but the fact that they included one is also, again, a nice touch. Some of these accessories are not necessarily things I'm going to be really displaying with my turtles, like I would imagine the backpack. I will probably be displaying, obviously, the baby turtles, the TV set, the Big Mac... Even like the pizza painting, the fromage painting, I will be displaying with Rat King. But things like the backpack, I'm sure I'm probably just going to be putting back in the box. Smaller things, though, to come included with a set as well. Now, first of all, you get yourself also as well a Mauser. I always feel like you can never get enough Mausers. The Mauser mouth does open and close. It's got some really nice paint applications there applied to the visor where its eye would be. Uh, there is no articulation that I can see at least. Oh, oh, there was a little bit. That's not the kind of thing you really want to be testing in the course of review. It was really tight earlier. 
I was certain, certain that this Mauser did have articulation and realizing shockingly that there was actually a ball joint. So you can rotate it there. You can move it up and down. Yeah, that makes much, much more sense. I had actually heated this earlier, but maybe I didn't heat it hard enough. Or maybe I didn't heat it long enough. Yeah, there's articulation there as well. And of course, yeah, you can move the legs forward and back. There's again, that hinge there on the back of its hind knee. And also as well, you can move its feet. Always nice to include Mausers. Honestly, though, if Neck is watching this, not that necessarily they will be, but I would just certainly love to get a big giant set of Mausers, just a Mauser accessory set. Neck can make that happen. Other things that the set also comes included with is tiny little baby versions of the Pizza Monsters. And we had looked at the Pizza Monsters here on this channel. In my collection, at least, I have actually two of them. But we get little baby versions of the Pizza Monsters, slightly darker. This, this time around, they're actually orange instead of the yellow but really nice use of paint applications there on the front of the teeth, the eyes, as well as the stripes there on the top of the head. These actually don't have any articulation. They're basically just little staction pieces. But if you wanted to have a little fun, like at the beginning of this review, you sort of can have them hanging off of things, hanging on top of the VCR, for example, hanging off to the side of the TV. A couple of fun places that you can hang around those little pizza monsters. You also as well get yourself a blowtorch. The blowtorch has been sculpted well, kind of more in a darker, what would you imagine that to be? Like a blue, dark bluish gray. You got the label there printed also on the front. Ideally really suitable for, I feel like Donatello. That'd be probably where I'm gonna end up displaying this. The figures also as well come included with a, with a ray gun. I don't know necessarily that this is tied to a specific episode. I'm sure it is. But the coloring on this is nicely handled, both in the dark and lighter blue. Some additional red is also added there as well for accents. Just a nice little ray gun to be com coming included. I'm certain as well that this is prob probably part of an episode. You get yourself to go accompanying the TV, a game console. To look at this, I swear it looks more like a Super Nintendo. Although the controllers are almost more something like Atari. These don't have any posability to them, but they have some really nice panel lining. Kind of looks like a robot with a really long nose. Who's telling a lie? Little cables, of course, are attaching the controllers to the side of the console box. And again, it's got some nice detailing even on the bottom of it as well. Uh, then you as well get yourself, well, I guess we could also, we'll move the, we'll look at the TV set stuff in a second. The biggest one of the accessories, if you want to consider it really an accessory, is Big Mac. Big Mac debuted in season three, I believe, episode 12, Attack of the Big Mac. He's a robot warrior who arrives 400 years into the future. Some really decent detail, I have to say, on this one. Primarily, it's mostly just a white figure, but it's got some decent articulation. It does actually have a ball joint there at the top where it attaches to like its torso area, so you can move it back and forth. You can move it up and down. There's also, again, additional articulation with a ball joint here on the shoulders, hinging on the elbows, and uh, there is no articulation that I can see on the hands themselves. No, there isn't. You can also move as well the back antenna, too with the laser that he has on the top. And speaking of which, though, he also has the additional articulation here to the head, where you can also move that up and down and back and forth as well with the ball joint. The ball joint is, though, located on the back of the figure's body. Again, I always really wanted to get myself a Big Mac to go along with my TMNT toys. Not the ones from McDonald's, mind you, but a Big Mac robot. The neat thing also about the Big Mac is the fact that you can actually take the little tiny little laser that he has on the top of his head, Remove it carefully, though, and make sure you put it in a place where you're not going to lose it. He also comes included as well with a head cap piece. So if you didn't want to necessarily have the figure displayed with the laser, simply just replace that, pop it off like I did do in this video, and just replace it then with the lid that goes over top. Looks a little bit more friendlier, not ready to start blasting anybody. Uh, then, of course, we get ourselves the baby turtles. Leonardo has been over here. Raphael, I should say, has been over here sort of sleeping on the job. You get four of them. My only real complaint about this set is the fact that the baby turtles, as good as they may look, don't really have proper means of being standing. I mean, they don't really stand all well at all. They don't have peg holes in the undersides of their feet, nor do they come included with any sort of standing apparatus that would allow the turtles to stand upright. If only they had included like even like a flat platform here with something like in the middle, like a little clear block, something that you could just have wedged the turtle toys or even just given us a display stand with maybe the foot impression of the baby turtles so you can actually have attached the feet without having to rely on peg holes on the undersides of their feet. They're cute though, I will say. Uh, the one that we use for the comparison, so I'm just going to bring in Ra Raphael so you can see like how big baby Raphael is compared to normal Raphael. He goes just about mid-thigh area. Coloring is very accurate as well. They sort of matched well the darker green. So like it's a little bit darker here for baby Raph than the original Raph that we had a look at. But all of them also have very unique expressions. Raph uh, Raphael actually kind of looks like he's a little bit more worried. When if, for example, you look at Donatello, Donatello has sort of a more of a, sh a face for shock. 
Leonardo is really about the only one that seems happy, and Michelangelo is very playful, as it really should be. The bodies are very similar to one another. They all sort of possess posability. The head is on ball joints, for example, so you can move them up and down and back and forth. The arms are also on tiny little shoulders or on ball joints, so you can move those also back and forth in and out. There's a hinge on the elbow. Just be careful because it's so small. And you can also rotate the forearm just only by a little bit. The thing, the biggest issue for me isn't so much the fact there's a little bit of blue paint on Leonardo's knee, but more the fact that there really isn't, when it comes to his ankles, the ankles are such small little joints. I've tried my best to kind of move them back and forth, but they're really quite tight. And the last thing I really would want to have is any one of these actually break on me. But the knees, the legs also move forward and back. There's a bend at the knee. Uh, actually, there's a little swivel, I think, on the knee. And there's a hinge also on the feet. But really, again, the biggest thing is the fact that they don't have the proper means to stand properly. A lot of the times, you may even see at the end of this re review, I'm kind of giving it away early, is the fact I'll probably have to have the turtle toys, the little baby turtles, resting against something. Because if not for that, there's really no other way I can actually have the figures display. As of right now, of course, I'm only working with what I have here. I mean, obviously, if you have yourself a much larger diorama with all the baby, with all the turtles, I'm sure you probably could have these guys resting against something uh, as it goes right now with only just what I have to work with. I don't really have anything to ha actually have the turtles propped up properly. All of them, by the way, do come include their included uh, unique accessories. Of course, the weapons that they wield. Donatello, for example, does have the bow staff. The staff does fit in his hand just with a grip as small as it may be. It's just a little harder to get them to hold their weapons. Raphael does come in clue with a pair of sai, tiny little sighs, and all of them are sort of painted about the same. Leonardo's, though, sad news is I've dropped one of them. I've looked around to the area where I'm recording this review, and I can't seem to locate that other katana. I know it's somewhere, and leave it with me. I'm sure I'm probably going to eventually find it. But the accessories are so tiny, it's in, it's impossible to find this on the floor, if, especially if it drops. But again, like you can take your little accessories and fit them into the turtle hands. There's Leonardo with his. None of them, by the way, have any storage space on the back of their shells for both Leonardo and Donatello, and no front storage place space for Leon for Michelangelo and Raphael. And speaking of Michelangelo, he also again comes in clue with a pair of nunchuck. I have not actually lost the nunchucks, so we're still good in for that. And even impressed the fact that actually the nunchucks actually have the little chains attached in the two. I mean, for the fact that this is as small as it is, and that NECA would take the time that they would to have chains attaching tiny little nunchucks like this is a really nice touch. So like that's everything we've accomplished so far. On to again, one other thing I was really excited with this particular set was the fact that they include the sewer layer TV set. Now, there's nothing really on the TV as of right now, but of course we will be fixing that shortly. The TV itself has been molded really nicely in a brown plastic. The knobs and dials have been painted on the front here. A more darker area of gray around the outlining of the TV screen and where the knobs would be as well. And of course, you got the lighter colors of the knobs and a little button down below, which would I would imagine would be the on and off switch. The TV, though, is broken, though. Not broken in the sense that my toy is. You can see like the legs, for example, they're sculpted in there. And as a makeshift standing leg, they have also sculpted the books like it would be in the cartoon. Really nice little attention to detail. That's what the TV looks like on the back. On top of that, you've got yourself the VCR with, again, a makeshift sort of control like little antennas. One actually looks like a flipper for flipping pancakes. Included with this, I was really impressed to see this. You get yourself a little VHS tape. I'm not sure specifically what they're watching, but I'm sure we'll be able to decide sh soon enough. The VHS tape can actually slide inside the VCR. It gets quite far in there as well. So luckily you'll be known, you just simply pop it forward and removes the tape. The fact that the tape is as small as and detailed as it is, really impressive on NECA's part. So like I said, the TV isn't on right now, but we will be fixing that shortly. You get yourself these insert cards that can slide into the front of the screen. You have one for April O'Neil, Ace Duck. You've got Rocksteady and Bebop trapped inside the screen. We've got ourselves Donatello. And then we got like various different stills from both wrestling and movies. Uh, Vern. Vernon is also there as well from Channel 6. And again, we, it looks like we have something from a video game as well. I have at the beginning of this video started my, uh, started like sort of the turntable rotation of the figure of the accessory set using April O'Neil. I might either just decide to use this one. Another one I was actually kind of considering using is probably maybe the black and white stills. So one like of the wrestling or of the blob. To change these, by the way, it's just a case of actually taking the top of the TV and just removing the lid. You can see that there's pegs on both sides. There's actually a total of four. And then they line up into the holes provided here. But just before we actually put things back in place, right here, you'll see a little opening. 
that you then can take yourself the insert. And when you slide it here to the in the inside, it actually does have now the TV screen with a with an actual thing that the turtles can watch. Now that's that one. That's April O'Neil. Just sliding it out, actually, you just run your finger across the front. If, for example, you wanted to have them watching wrestling, you're just going to take that and slide it into the front. And now they can also watch wrestling as well. And we're just going to go ahead, careful though of the antennas, and then that's just going to plug back into place. And like I said, the turtles can now watch TV. Slowly but surely, we are sort of building ourselves a turtle lair. We have, though, not yet built a turtle lair. And I hope at some point that NECA is going to finish what they've done, this, the job that they've started with all these individual accessories that have come included with these sets. This one being my favorite. The fact that we have actually ourselves a Big Mac, which is really nice. That's the fact that we even have ourselves this discussion of baby turtles being included in a turtle set. I mean, that's fantastic. Still, though, I kind of wish, though, the turtle babies, the little baby turtles, would actually have a better means to stand. Because, I mean, like, they they just fall all over the place. If only they had display stands, if only they had... I mean, for me, even when I'm going to be wrapping up this review, in order to have them properly standing, I'm literally just going to have them have them leaning against something. But the fact that we get ourselves as much as we do, it isn't necessarily something that's as a standalone item. This is definitely one of those things I feel you're going to be picking up more so to a company or, or accent your existing turtle collection shelf. But I am really happy with how this one turned out. The, the thing I was really the most excited for, honestly, was the fact we were getting ourselves a Big Mac. The baby turtles are also a nice touch, but I also really was excited that we were getting ourselves a TV. Not only did NECA deliver a really cool looking TV that actually can store VHS tape inside, but they also have little individual inserts, like for example, April O'Neil from Channel 6, that you can slide in the front so the baby turtles have something to watch. The TMNT cartoon accessory set, I wouldn't imagine to be something that a casual collector of turtle toys will be picking up. This is kind of more for the diehard fans that have themselves a diorama already happening. Like, my diorama is slowly building. I have not been like some of the talented collectors out there that actually have built themselves a turtle lair. But mine is a little bit more modest. It certainly will be a little less modest now that I'll be able to add myself a TV, a pizza box, not to mention Big Mac that comes included with a set as well. It has, though, again, a lot of finishing touches. This is one of those things that have really all those accessories that, as a, as a collector, you know, again, like the more diehard fans have all sort of been asking for over the years. You know, at some point, I hope we get ourselves like a TV set to go and display along with the Charles. We have gotten TVs from NECA before. This isn't anything new, but we haven't certainly got ourselves ones for the Turtle cartoon. Now we finally have one. And to do that one better, NECA actually then included screen, different sh screens that you can actually put inside the TV. I, li I really like the attention to detail there. They have included a VCR, but then on top of that, to include a VHS tape that can slide inside the front door of that, tiny little baby pizza monsters. They include, the, sh of course, the Mauser. They also have Baxter Stockman's head, which is really of the accessories right now. Between that and the Star of Hoboken, that's about the only two things I think I'm probably going to end up just putting back in the box. I don't really have a place for the diamond yet. I certainly don't have a Baxter Stockman body until that finally fixes itself. I'm probably just going to be ultimately putting that head sculpt back in the box box. But everything else, everything else that gets packed inside this box is definitely going to be on my shelf along with my turtle toys I've been collecting over the years. If you guys have picked up this set for yourself, let me know how you're configured your display shelf. How do you have the figures displayed? And also as well, like... A big, the biggest thing for me is is also the fact that the baby turtles. I really wish that they could have come include display stands. The baby turtles will just ultimately have to rest against something, whether it be the TV set, whether it be maybe with some of my other turtle figures that I have on the shelf. I do wish that they could have had a better way of balancing the turtle, the baby turtles, because on their own, those things are just going to be falling right over. But what again, what do you guys think of this set? Let me know down below in the comment section. Certainly as well, if you guys enjoyed this video, I want to hit with a like. If you guys are loving the content you guys are seeing, I know we are a little behind when it comes to Turtle Toys. Rest assured, I will be playing catch up. We'll be looking at a whole bunch of NECA TMNT stuff in upcoming videos. So of course, if you want to make sure that you're not missing out on any of that, hit that subscribe button down below and as well, turn on the bell notification. Of course, as always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.